What's up tribe? Thank you for being here and welcome to my channel. This will be a general reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Cancer, I already recorded this and it was so good. Oh, I'm just so mad at myself for, for having forgot to switch on the mic. Oh, it doesn't matter. I guess spirit just wants me to do it better this time. And maybe that's part of your message too. Maybe you're having to do it over for you to do it better. Because that talisman starting the reading there says, A lesson truly learned is crystallized as earned wisdom. You have all you need for the success you seek. And this one ring circus with the elephants. So I've been going on about the elephants saying that they kept popping up in readings. And in one reading they came up with the same position and I was like okay that's just gonna make my readings a little dull like come on spirit you know I'm, I'm Sagittarius work with me here we need things to be exciting and, and spicy and new the same cards came back out of the huge humongous the same four cards came out of the humongous mixed deck again because they just keep saying you know we're gonna repeat the message until you get it we'll give you new messages just could you could you maybe get this one first and i was thinking that they were saying with the listening because listening says an an open heart will hear the message i was thinking they were talking about a heart opening like open your heart to people and then i looked up the elephant and it was saying the elephants remember who their enemies and who their friends are and I'm like okay I don't want to think about my friends right now because we're social distancing and that's just going to make me miss them oh. <laughs> and I don't want to think about my enemies because why would I right but that's not what they were saying but they were just hitting me with elephants it was uh, it was here my friend stopped by and gave me these two green and white and then I was doing yoga later that day and, and then I noticed the background was two elephants behind her and I was like, oh my God, what's with the elephants? And I find it and I was, and I was like, would you s please stop hitting me with elephants? Hit me with music. Hit me with music now because now I get it. They are hitting me with music. What they're saying with the elephants is remember who you are. Remember that you are the water. You remem remember that you are this water. Remember that you are the earth. Remember that you are the sun. Remember that you are. Remember you're the planet. Where we were doing. Um, so Matthias Stefano, I've been talking about him a lot and I've been following him. He's in Egypt right now. Um, and he does a live every day and he's been doing and so yesterday we did water and he was reminding us of how the water that's running in our bodies the the water that makes up 75 percent or more of our bodies is the the same water that's you know that's been that's been other people that other people drank that it's just one and that's what they were telling me you remember that you are this planet remember that you have all you need because that's how you were created remember who you are remember that you can work on this garden on this field on this farm whatever she's working on notice how this crystallized knowledge is also here but here she's working with it she's she's taking that knowledge and now she's she's planting something with it that wisdom is helping her get a new start a new physical uh, manifestation and the one ring circus 
talks about self-reliance. The dry desert talks about self-reliance. Let me read what the dry desert uh, is for you because it's tied to the elephants. So the dry desert says, dig deep, dig deep for inspiration and truth. Now is the time to become resilient and adaptable. Is your life presenting you with opportunities that seem to yield nothing? Have your ideas dried up? Does it feel like you're on an endless journey through a dry, hot, lifeless desert? This card reminds you that there are times when you're meant to become resilient as you journey through harsher circumstances, like the ones we're going through right now. You're being required to conserve your energy until after consistent effort you reach the oasis you're searching for or the oasis you're working on, right? And it says, consider the creatures that live in these conditions. They have adapted to thrive in spite of outer environment. In a desert, water, essential for life, can be found deep underground. Go deep within yourself now. Find your truth there. Let spirit sustain you while you locate the real source. Whatever it is you're asking about will not be found in the conditions you are in until you move past the surface of things and choose to do the real work and discover the answers deep within. This may not seem like the most productive time, but looks are deceiving. This is the most important place to find what's truly right for you. So this, having some distance, her being here um, in the middle of nowhere, here in the desert alone, that distancing is helping you find what's truly, is there to help you find what's truly, it's there to help you find what's truly yours. It's there for you to figure out what your truth is, what your real frequency is without all the stimulation and without all the interference of other people's energies in your energy field. And this reminds me of the same thing. You are the planet. You don't come onto this earth. You come out of it. But don't have your roots to the earth, to the, man to the physical manifestation, tie you down like this. This could be a job that you don't like, that you feel tied down to because you have debts and believe you can't make that money in another way or like a similar scenario. You know, these things that you feel like I just can't get out. It's it's a lie. You can get out. You may have to leave some pearls behind, but you have everything you need. And when you cross that water, when you cross being emotional about it, you know, and just take that trip, then you're in here, you're in the sunny field. The sun is like the happiest card in the deck. The sun is ultimate happiness, abundance, uh, connection. What is it? Wait, I, I never feel like I give this card justice, so I'm going to read it for you. The sun. The sunny sun. Sun, abundance. At this time, everything is possible and everything I need is Now they're hitting me with music. Sun, abundance. At this time, everything is possible and everything I need to know is illuminated. Projects come to fruition. Relationships flourish and my growth is assured. This is a time of plenty. It's important that I share this abundance with others. I am deeply grateful. So you're coming to that, um, you're going to reap the fruits 
of these seeds you've been sowing. And I love how, see the transition between the five of earth, the five of pentacle, which talks about, which talks about uh, lack, you know, not having enough. Um, and then you have everything you need. You're being coronated by the sun. You're the sunflower. <laughs> You're the sunflower. Well, okay, see, they're hitting me with music now, and uh, and there's there goes that song, and there goes that song. You're the sunflower. You're the sunflower. Yeah. And um, something else. And 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 all it takes is to leave behind what no longer serves you and make that trip. Could be a physical journey, could be, could be an internal journey, just journey within. Find out what truly makes you happy, what lights you up like a sun. And um, I was also remembering this part of this poetry I just shared. Um, it's by my favorite Arabic poet. He was known as a woman's poet. And he was saying, not that this reading is for a woman, but with all the women there, let's just say it is. Not that this reading is for women only. It's not gender specific, but just for the sake of speech. Let's say it is a woman, right? And he says, you're an autonomous woman. Your oil comes from you. Your wheat from you. Your fire from you. Your summer and your winter. Your lightning and your thunder. Your rain and your snow. Your waves and your foam. All from you. Now, this is all metaphorical. It just means you can go wherever you want. You don't have to be tied down by anything. Everything you need is with you, is you. You are everything you need. And the elephants, they are a symbol of power, experience, knowledge, um, resilience. And you have all these things now. You have them because of this desert, because of this, I don't know, it looks like a little uh, bit of a storm here. You have it because of all of that. And that, and that just helps you cross, cross over from the five to the sun. Five, eight, ten, completion, beginning. Ten is, ten is ending and ten is one and one is beginning. So you're beginning a new cycle, something brand new, something happy and delightful. That's all I have for you today, Cancer. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up, share, subscribe if you'd like to be part of the channel. And until next time, I'm sending you much, much love and hoping you stay safe. Bye for now.